Hi, I'm Tim Williams of Dwyer Williams Potter Injury Accident Attorneys. I'm the lead litigation attorney for the firm. Every so often we get people coming in, particularly after a fall, a premises liability type situation, let's say it's a fall on ice, where they've dislocated their shoulder and they're still having shoulder pain. So let's talk about why that is. Here we have a model of the shoulder. This is your collarbone, this is your, uh, your scapula or your shoulder blade, and this is the arm bone that comes up and attaches to the shoulder blade. And you can imagine if you look to the side, this being the outside of the shoulder, your ribs are right here in front. So a shoulder dislocation is when this arm bone, which attaches right up here to the shoulder blade, dislocates or becomes disattached from the shoulder blade itself. That can be very, very painful, but it can also cause significant interior injury. Let's look at the diagram. It'll help us out. Here we see a diagram of the shoulder itself. It's a ball and socket joint. The bone on the left, which is the humerus or the arm bone, creates the ball portion of the joint. And we see the shoulder blade creates the socket portion of the joint. And the arrow indicates where we're talking. So what happens with the dislocation is the ball becomes disattached from the socket. It either moves forward or backwards. And this is important and, and frankly painful because there's connective tissue, there's ligaments that actually holds the ball within the socket. And once you get hit hard enough that the ball disattaches from the socket, it can tear and stretch some of those ligaments. So when the, the arm bone becomes disattached from the socket itself, in other words, the ball portion of the arm, which is underneath here, we can see that here, becomes disattached from the socket portion of the, of the shoulder. Again, it can, it can, because of the stretching of those ligaments, it become incredibly painful. That generally resolves. Usually there's not surgery required with a shoulder dislocation, but sometimes there is. What's important as well is for the majority of cases where there's no surgery that's, that's involved, is that it creates a situation now where there's laxity or looseness within the joint itself, and you're prone to future dislocations. Ask anyone with a prior shoulder dislocation, they'll tell you that they, they ha sometimes will dislocate or partially dislocate their shoulder after that initial event. And this becomes important because it can limit the types of work you do. It can, it can be painful uh, playing sports. It can be play painful playing with your kids or grandkids. There's lots of limitations and reasons why this is important, and it has value with, in a person's life. Insurance companies want to ignore that value. They want to say, well, you dislocated your shoulder, you feel better now, so you must be fine. Here's, here's a little bit of money, go away, if you even get that far. That's where an injury attorney becomes important because injury attorneys know the value of these types of injuries. They know the value of the types of injuries that causes you future complications or potential complications uh, and, and future loss of enjoyment of life.